There is a home whose rooms not only reflect various pre-Victorian styles, but which also has ties to certain celebrities, as we found out at the Weber Home and Gardens in Streeter. The house was built by my parents in 1937, and we've always called it a country Tudor cottage, but technically Tudor cottages didn't have round turrets. I decided to go with the period house because I liked the time before Queen Victoria. The dining room is in the style of about 1780. By that time they had discovered and were excavating Pompeii and it was very classical. This is the time that Wedgwood created his Jasper where we have a collection in there from Lord Wedgwood. This is the time of very brightly colored walls and uh, anything that had to do with ancient Greek or Roman culture. Our room that is named for Dr. Preston Bradley is very much in the federal style. We have bold striped wallpaper, there's a bullseye mirror above the uh, fireplace, and we have a Sheraton set tea and Hepplewhite card table. I worked in radio for the most part, but I also did uh, a little bit of television. And uh, my radio work revolved around a lot of celebrity interview shows. We were on the radio at 11 o'clock at night and all the show people came in to have drinks and have a bite to eat after their shows and come on the radio. When we began doing tours, I began to remember all of the people who had visited me here over the years. Even though I was living in Chicago, my parents were still here and I would be here often on the weekends and folks would love to get away from the city for a Saturday or Sunday afternoon. So the dining room is named for Myrna Loy who came here many times for Sunday uh, dinner while she was doing a play in Chicago for a year. We have the Cougar Fan and Ollie room. Burr Tilstrom visited here, but all the puppets stayed here. We have a room named for Aaron Gold, who wrote the ink column in the Chicago Tribune. He wrote his first Chicago Tribune columns here. There's a little a miniature chessboard that Carl Sandburg gave to Dr. Bradley, who in turn gave it to me, which is supposed to be made from a rail split by Lincoln. You know, I'd always question that. Lincoln's 18 years old, chopping down trees around Springfield. I mean, who knew he was going to become Abraham Lincoln? But I had a historian here who said, when Lincoln became famous, there were many people living who knew where the farm fences were he had built as a young man, and they stole them. When people first come into the house, they come into a very small Tudor-style entryway. We call it the Shadow Hall. And that's because Brett Morrison, who I knew, as the shadow on the radio. When he passed away, I inherited some of his walking sticks, which are right beside the fireplace in the entry hall. Two of the autograph books that I have, I keep out here on the table. This first book is from Eleanor Roosevelt. Her table companion here is Gypsy Rose Lee. And I had a visitor here once who was very excited about Gypsy Rose Lee. Not so much about Eleanor Roosevelt, but he sure who knew Gypsy Rose Lee was. And he asked me when I was uh, showing the book, he said, well, were you actually present when she signed the book? I said, you betcha. Here she is sitting on my lap. My sister and I, when we were growing up here, the garden as it exists today didn't exist. It, was, it wasn't a garden, it was a yard. Well, I decided since it was a Tudor-style little storybook house, it ought to have an English garden. So over the past 25 years, I've created what I call an English garden in that it is roomed off. We often have named them for a piece of sculpture or a piece of statuary in the garden. For example, we have the Four Seasons Court because Baroque figures of the Four Seasons are there of spring, summer, winter, and fall. This is History Court. And those are busts of Columbus, Tecumseh, George Washington, and Dante. I bought Washington first, and they're hard to find of comparable size. I didn't want anything larger than George Washington, of course, so this is the mix I got. Our playhouse from 1941 is still here. We're very lucky to have it. It was built for me and then my sister came along. So we have her toys in there, my toys are in there, my father's baseball bats are in there from 100 years ago. That is Luther Hall, and there's a clock tower on top of Luther Hall, and our cat, Luther, has his statue on top of that clock tower, and Luther Hall is where he lives in the summertime. Inside Luther Hall, he has his own door so he can go upstairs to his bedroom. 
Oh, the greatest joy is telling the stories. We have a lot of fun doing this tour. I mean, people really burst out laughing at many of the things that we talk about. And it's nice to get someone to pay you to talk about yourself, don't you think? For directions or to discover more about the Weber House, call 815-672-8327 or visit their website at www.weberhouseandgarden.com.